gonna play some Polybridge. Yep, we're back on Polybridge, people. And we got two more levels left of Elephant Land. Tranquil Oasis. Wow, that is a weird queue. Look at that. Um, distracted. Looper's Revenge. Oh, better read that, actually. Oh, it doesn't say anything. <laughs> okay, so I think we know where this one's going. We've got a fast car, huge ramp. I think because there's that hash sign, we've got to get one and then two. So we can't just do a normal jump, which means we've got to do a loop. Hence the name Looper's Revenge. Although the last looper, I didn't loop in the end. I cheesed it. But still, let's, uh, let's see what happens then. Can I move that after I've... Can I draw this anywhere as well? No. Oh, that's annoying. Right, so I think I'm going to go for this sort of shape, which I guess is kind of the obvious thing to do, but it could be fun. I think as well, I want to do something a bit... Oh no, it's not quite going to reach. I might just move these in a bit. Right, so I want to do something a bit weird. I don't know if it's a good engineering thing to do, probably not, but it's going to look awesome. So I'm just going to do it all to the middle. So we got a nice spiral shape. Spiral? I don't know, what do you call this? A dartboard? A ferris wheel? I don't know. Segmented. Ooh, word of the day, I think. But yeah, this could be a bit of a ball trying to hold this thing up in the air. Okay, so I got something a bit trussy going on. I got to try and... Well, first I got to see if it holds itself. It holds itself. Next, I got to make sure the gaps work. So obviously I can't just do a loop because it will crash into itself. So I need a gap for him to drive through. So I might bring this down just a tad. I might be able to connect these two. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. And then hopefully I can kind of use these together-ish. Okay, so we'll come through here. Hopefully the headroom's fine. I think we'll kind of jump and land on there. That could take a lot of force. Probably need a bit of tweaking, but essentially, it's driving along here, under this gap, we'll jump over this gap, hopefully go all the way around, and then I will need to lift that side up. Hopefully that's enough of a deflection there to clear this gap again without touching that. And if so, we should make it through here and land somewhere down here and make it. Doesn't look too untidy, but whether it works, I don't know. It holds itself. Oh, oh! Not gonna lie, that went infinitely better than I thought it might. I think I only had like two breaks. Well, the whole thing did collapse, but I reckon maybe something like that could even... Let's just see, okay, so that bit of road as well. Obviously I can truss around here to make it a bit better. Oh! <laughs> Do you see how close that was? Okay, so that bit broke. I think because there's a lot of weight coming straight down. So kind of all of this weight is heading its way down to here. Of course, by the time we're pressing against this wall, there's it's, all the weight's only going through two nodes. So I might just muscle that for now. So yeah, we'll just, we'll see if that works. See if that makes it better. It looks a lot nicer down here. Look at this though. Oh, okay. So the reason we are breaking is because we're clearing all of that. I think we're only landing down here somewhere, so I can probably replace all that road. Because as we know, steel is a lot lighter than road. Oh, she's flexing a bit. All right, so I got this one piece of road replaced with a spring. And I'm just going to keep the steel going all the way over there, just to support it, I think. See, now you can see this road isn't connected. Oh, that was close. <laughs> so it's just this bit that broke. So maybe then I'll just do that. And what that does, all the force that was coming down here now has a bit of a chance of being spread out a bit more, if you know what I mean. If this fails, I'll probably put that piece in. And then we know the force that was coming through this straight beam is now being like halved almost. But I'll try that on its own first. Let's turn this. Look at that. That is impressive. Oh, and it worked. Lovely. So 73 grand. Top 25%. Not too bad for a very, very first go. So if we go back, obviously I did most of this in steel. So that's the obvious way to trim cost. As usual, I'm going to watch with stress on and see what bits go orange. There's not a lot, to be honest. I'm wondering if maybe this... How much does this cost? 
23 grand. So if I could replace this with wood. Obviously I can't go to the middle, but I can truss all the way around. All right, so this probably will break, I think. Oh no, not for now, but when the car goes round. So down here was pretty heavy. Right, so I've added this piece in and just reinforce that bit of road. And we've saved 12 grand, 13 grand. Oh, and that worked. So now I can start top 9%, sweet. So I think round here, I can probably make these triangles a lot smaller. Yeah, so I'm gonna do that. I think I need to bring this down as well. I think we're kind of lifting off a bit. Right, so I've slowly just been replacing bits of steel with wood and then muscles, obviously. I'm getting a bit stuck down here. So you can see this straight line, lovely and straight, goes quite red near the end. And I swear from previous videos, I kind of worked out a muscle was actually stronger than steel. But it seems when I replace this, you can tell straight away. Not the case. With steel, we're 48 and a half thousand. So replacing that, we need to be at least under 48 and a half. So I have the option to make this bigger while still being cheaper. And obviously the bigger your triangles, the kind of more force I'll be able to take. So yeah, you can see just from those few times I tried there, it's not really worth it. So I'm going to go back to just keeping that as steel. Maybe I'll try and replace this one instead. And before you ask, yes, I have tried quads and triples, but the price is just not worth using wood over steel. So that one's fine. So I can make that smaller. In fact, it might just be a weight thing. So I could probably do something like that. Now we're resting against the wall and we don't need the other half of the muscle. Yeah. So if you look at this, so this is basically a muscle. So if I were to explain how a muscle works, you've got a length of material and you want to either make it stronger or in this case, I want to make it longer. I don't care about the strength. So usually you do that and that kind of makes the force that was coming down this single length of material, it's now doubled. So you're twice as strong, but obviously you need the support in the middle to stop these two nodes being pulled apart as the force comes down. So if I, in this case, don't actually need the strength, I can delete that and use the wall to stop this node rocking side to side. So now as force comes down, that's proper wedged against the wall. That isn't going anywhere. So as we watch this, you can see the force comes down. It barely even goes yellow, to be honest. It's plenty strong enough. It just needed the length for wood. So that's fine. So this is a long piece of steel. I wonder if I can replace that with a muscle. And obviously, so rather than going for a muscle straight away, you probably want to try doing something like that. Because that's kind of the same thing as a muscle, but you're saving on the amount of material you're using. Ooh. So we'll see in here. Perfect, that was fine. Let's have a look for any other pieces that are green. I think these two definitely don't need to be, but they're too long to be wood. So I could do something like that, and I'll probably need a brace. Yeah, so in this situation, this way is cheaper, but when you think about the forces, remember you're trying to get your force down to your anchor points. So all the weight of this loop is going to come down these two pieces. When it gets to here, if we put that in, we're kind of sending it the wrong way. So I'm guessing this isn't going to hold. Yes, that fails. So if we try going this way instead, now as the force comes down, we're kind of taking it along an easier route to our anchor points. Lovely. So you can see that worked. Hopefully I explained ish why that's better and obviously we're cheaper. Right. So essentially, I think that is as far as I'm going to get because I keep tweaking little things, trying to swap them with muscles and things. And it's so finely balanced. So the final thing I want to do then is just as we did on a previous video, we just uh, make this spring smaller and make it compressed. And then we use less material, but it bounces up to where it was before. So something about there, 80%. And now that will, as you watch this, boing, 
bouncy boys up right to where you want it. Lovely. And that's the final part of the pie. So let's see. Top 2%. Oh my god. 186. So it gets to the top 100. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to shave another 6 grand off. That's awesome. So nice little tutorial i think i'll call that as to how to save money when we get onto these more complicated structures so yeah we'll just watch one more time just to show it worked perfectly a little bit of movement but that's what we want sweet i just i'm quite interested to have a look in the gallery just at how other people did so someone told me you can sort these by budget i did not know that that is awesome wow look at some of these right let's watch this so we got the falling at a certain pace. Oh, that is my kind of bridge. I'm not going to lie. And then he jumps it again. Double jump. Awesome. <laughs> I'm guessing these are all quite similar. Wow, that's so cool. But those break. So could only use them once. What's this one all about? Oh. <laughs> yes. Love it. So, oh, can I watch these full screen? Okay, let's watch one of these. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's been eaten. Oh, my God. That was unreal. I wish I had more time to play this game. Because I'd love to try shit like this. What is going on with this one? Whoa, so he does a backflip. Just for shits and giggles. He slowly slides on his roof. Oh. Wow. <laughs> and he wheelies at the end. Oh my god. So good. Okay, let's do the ne next level. I'm inspired now. Monster truck rally. We're going to do fucking flips and all sorts. No, I'm not. I'm an engineer. I'm doing straight lines. <laughs> Oh, okay, it's a bit complicated. What's going on here? So, I'm a little bit confused. I'm not going to lie. So, I'm just going to do... I'm just going to do my favourite thing just to fill this in. So, I think this time I might use the power of wizardry. Oh, hello. What's this all about then? Oh, very nice. Can you do the other side for me, please? Yeah, yeah, that side, that's it. Head over that way, yep. And now, fill it in like before. Oh, thank you very much. That was very kind of you. Right, so I'm just going to do a very quick under truss. Um, just so I can try and work out what's going on. Because it's the end of the week for me. It's been a long week of engineering shit I have to do in my day job. All right, it's just for now. I just want to see what the situation is. So limo goes. Oh, I think they both stop on the bridge. And then the monster truck drives over them. Ooh. Well, let's watch this for you. See ya. <laughs> okay, that's cool. So we need to build something quite hench. Or maybe something a bit springy. So we have that bit of give in our bridge. So I'll tell you what then. Let's try just springing either end. Right, I'm going for a sprung arch. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, sp I think springers are not the way to go with this one. Alright, this is a proper janky arch, but looks alright, I guess. Doing a lot better than that, Truss. Alright, so what I'll do, I'll just copy this first one and bung it here. 28 grand, so not the best, but we'll, we'll see what she's like. I don't know what this bit down here is all about. Oh, yes I do. No, I don't. Anyway, so we get over this. Fine, this might be, yeah, a bit more of a serious issue. What? Why did you break suddenly? I haven't touched this one. So just trying to get this one to work. And suddenly this one starts breaking. What? Right, so this works now, I've gone back. Okay, so this works. All I did was I put some reinforced road here. Nothing else has changed. So this bridge, haven't touched it. 
What the actual shit is going on? Can someone in the comments that knows this game better than me please explain? Because that makes no sense unless, which surely not, but unless the monster truck driver is so intimidated. <laughs> no, I don't know. Like, I thought these points were just kind of fixed. I wouldn't have thought weight, like, from here would travel through this joint, through the existing land, and over here. That's all I can think that could be happening. Yeah, confused. Not gonna lie. So that breaks. So if I go back, so control Z, undo. That's the only thing that changed. That's now a normal road. On this bridge. And somehow we... That allows us to get across. Oh, that's confused my brain. And it doesn't do well with confusion. <sighs> anyway, let's just truss the crap out of this. And see if it makes the first bridge fall down. I can't be asked to do this cheap now. You've annoyed me, game. You have annoyed me. Does that affect this bridge? I haven't put that bit of reinforced road in. Nope, we're all good. Okay. So now if I... Swap all these to reinforce. Does my first bridge fall down randomly? No. Oh, we didn't make it. Okay, let's just muscle this then. I don't think this should affect anything else. But I don't know how this game works anymore. So straight over that one. What the shit? All I did was replace that. Okay, so we'll do this at fast speed. So... This bridge works fine. Replace this with a muscle. Haven't touched bridge on left. Game, don't do this to me. You mother... And the second one works now, but now... What? Can someone in the comments please explain whether the game's right or I'm right in that that shouldn't happen. But anyway, I put a muscle in this... Oh my god. <laughs> what is going on? Okay. This is just one of those levels where something janky's going on. Okay, so there is there is a reason why... Is there? I'm just going to have to fiddle. There's no... Engineering can't fix this. There we go. Thank God. Did not enjoy that level. <laughs> Yay, but I completed Tranquil Oasis. Maybe that's why. It's like... We're the last level of the world. We're going to proper mess some crap up for you. Top 18%. Not great, but I don't think I want to go back and try this because I did not enjoy that level at all. And I don't really understand what's going on, but I do want to see some other people's solutions. So let's see what we've got. Let's sort by budget and just see what people have been coming up with. So that's the cheapest. Really? 21,000. What did I have? 35? Oh my god. Okay, so sorted by budget. As I suspected, springs are involved. Oh, we only get a very short replay of that. It's a bit random. Let's try this one. So we've got under... Yeah, so we got the old springs just to help with that jumping around of the monster truck. So cool, good to know. But I hated that level and I don't understand what happened in the slightest. This is good though. That is cool. So yeah, really like that. You take the monster truck away from those. And they, it just goes over the top. Because this is the trouble. You gotta force your way out the birth canal at the end. Go on, little car. You can do it. Go on. Yes. Why am I... I don't know why I'm celebrating someone else's replay. But sweet. We are on to the next world. What's this world called? Sanguine Gulch? Sanguini? Sanguine. I've never heard that word. Or seen it. Gulch is a horrible word though. Sanguine Gulch. I'm gonna say that it says. Okay, so edgy. Ooh, so we got truck over here. Gotta get over there and back. And actually, someone said you don't need to hit that to complete the level. Which I don't really believe, but I do want to try. So I wonder, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna cheese this. <laughs> yes, I know I'm massively against cheesing, but 
I want to see what would happen. So I'm just going to see if I can launch this truck backwards. Vehicle reach flag without touching checkpoint. Yep, so person in comments from a while back. No, you do have to get the turnaround checkpoint thing. Assuming that's what you meant. Okay, so straight across. So we'll just do a straight across. It's my little fairy person. Oh no, I'm evil. I'm going to fill the bridge in. Sorry, I know you've seen that one before, but it's a, it's a good one. <laughs> right, so let's do a truss underneath. I'm going to use those rocks in the middle, I think, to support myself. Right, so this seems to be holding. I love that in 3D you're not actually touching the rocks at all down there. Okay, so I just need to put in a joint. So that will disconnect. And then a bit of hydraulic. So I'm going to go that way with a expand. And I'll just try... Oh, I don't know. Actually, I might have to go from down here. So I think it makes more sense to do that one. And what I'll do... I will... What will I do? I might want this truss to be on top, actually. Because if I'm on top, I've got a bit more reach, if you know what I mean. And as it goes up, right, the truss will be out the way. So if it holds, and it does hold, let's slow it down. So let's see what... Oh, no, I bloody did contract. What if we try that, then? Oh, we go a bit too high, I think. So I think it's just a case of getting this angle right. Bit too much contraction as well. Contraction? Expansion. Okay, so the trouble we've got now is we're lifting over here. It might just be doing another thing like that. I don't know, but I think that might just hold this where it is a bit more. Yes. Okay, so now we can just keep adding a little bit more expansion on just to get out the way without going too far. I think the thing with these as well, you want to get the cost down. You want to keep the expansion on 50, but kind of move this until it's in the right place. Because then your hydraulic is shorter, so it costs less. That looks good. Okay, we're looking good. So now I'm just going to go through and properly try to shrink some cost out. Right, okay, so for a first stab, this seems reasonably good. So we're a bit more yellow over here. I can't really reduce these just because they're all at max sort of length. I could maybe lose a node or two in here. But this looks good. Good, as long as we're still out the way. Nice, and we're so under budget, but I think it's been quite an easy level. Ah, oh, balls, that's annoying. So because that comes down quite slow, I'm going to have to do that a bit. But yeah, as I was saying, I think everyone might be quite cheap on this, so I don't know if my score is going to be that good. But we will just make sure he gets back okay, because things work a bit differently in a different direction. Sweet, we made it. Let's have a look how we did at the first level. Top 3%. I am super buzzing about that. Very first look at the leaderboards. But look at these top people. Like, half my budget. And I bet they're all doing that dangly road. That's something... I will never do on this channel. Oh, that's quite cool though. It went underneath. No, mustn't like dangly road. Mustn't like dangly road. It's not engineering. It's not engineering. Anyway, guys. Gays? I didn't I didn't say gays. I said guys. Damn stupid voice. Anyway, guys. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed us getting finally to the fourth world. We are guessing ever so closer to the challenge levels, which I can't wait for. I'm sure you guys can't either. Yeah, catch you next time. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, please. Cheers all. Bye.